Okay, I wanted to make this quick video um, just because I have a friend who is trying to figure out how to use, basically how to load a Reface DX with their own sounds or with uh, non-default sounds, I should say. Um, I, we tried the Sound Mondo app and it was really not useful. Um, basically, just could not get it to work at all. But I found this site, um, Martin Taren Skeen, thank you very much. Um, Reface DX Legacy Project. So basically this led me to these two tools. Um, this one is his SysX versions of um, the Sound Mondo site patches, and then uh, the SysX librarian. So if you're familiar with SysX at all, um, I mean, this was the mat, like basically the tool that you would use to put SysX patches on any MIDI device with on Mac, but essentially you can use any SysX uh, manager or library, li librarian, library, whatever. Um, so basically the steps here are to download this. Um, you can download this pack uh, or if any, if you have any of these synths, um, you can do it with this, but we're using the Reface DX um, patches here. So what I've done, basically my friend is using this uh, synth because it's what they had available to them and they're using it for performance. Um, so what you're gonna do is open up the SysX librarian and kind of look for the types of sounds you want. So in that pack, um, so here I have a bunch of Rhodesy stuff, uh, that we wanted to try out. So the steps here are, if you just double click one of these, it'll open in SysX Librarian. So let's just try Blur Roads. So it opens here. This basically just tells you not to move these files or if you're going to, to move them to the SysX Librarian's uh, documents folder. Otherwise, if you do move them, you'll need to relink them later. But we're just gonna click OK. So this is selected here. Um, you're gonna select your MIDI device. So this, we have the Refe Reface DX plugged in via uh, USB. So we're gonna click that and then we're gonna hit play. And what this does here is now loads, it takes a few seconds, but it loads to the synth. Um, and what we're gonna do now so this is the part that i found confusing at first because i thought all we needed to do was hit the store button and then hit store again but actually what you need to do is select where you want it to be stored so so far i've filled up bank one and two almost fully with sort of piano and rhodesy sounds what i'm gonna do is click two to get to bank two it's weird, it's kind of reversed. So it'd be the first sound in bank two. And I'm gonna go to, uh, I'm gonna click bank till I get to four, since that's the, I think the only one I haven't replaced yet. Now, instead of hitting store again, which is what I originally thought, what we need to do, these four buttons correspond to one, two, three, and four. So we're, I've already chosen the bank. Uh, you can also use the arrows here to get through your banks and the um, the patches within each bank. But what we're gonna do now is click this button because it corresponds to store. And then we're gonna click this button to hit yes. Complete. And now on bank two, patch four. Uh, so if I scroll through these, these are all now sounds that we've replaced. Um, we now have this patch loaded in here. And if I turn it off and on, it will stay in here. What I was originally dealing with was that um, the store button, I just thought you had to click it twice to store, but that's not the case. So if we go to bank two and then scroll through these, we have our blur roads. Uh, yeah, just wanted to share this because I couldn't find anything about this uh, on YouTube or anything. Luckily that page was there, so thank you. Um, but I hope this helps someone. Just a really quick thing, cause uh, yeah, almost just as a guide I'm gonna send to my friend, but I figured if it's useful to anyone, 
may as well share it. So, uh, yeah, thanks.